After picking up our second 5-0 win of the season last week, we look to go back to back in week 5 where we'll be going up against Matt and his Cotswold women's cots. Once again we made a couple of trades this week, dropping Robombi for Spiritomb and Leafion, so we still have a Grass and Dark type available to us if we want to Terror Zarud. And to be honest I didn't see Robombi coming to many if any of the games that were left in the rest of the season. Onto the matchup and Matt has a very deadly team with Last Respect's Houndstone backed up by Tyranitar to set up the sand. A really solid defensive core in Galarian Sloking alongside Ivor and Polion of Skarmory whilst Mianchao provides a fast pivot. Both of his Terra Captains in Cloyster and Electivire are likely to come to this game and uh, very scary for our team and Wimscott is always really really good in Matt's hands. There's also a Trap Inch. First up on our squad we have Raging Roger. The combination of Electric and Dragon hits everything neutrally so Volt Switch and Draco are a given but we needed to be able to hit Galarian Slowking and an Assault Vest Electivire so with an Expert Belt we can 1v1 both of those unless of course he terrors on Electivire into Terra Flying. Body Press is there for a specially defensive Tyranitar as although we can Volt Switch for momentum on it, doing massive damage in return or potentially even Okoing it is, uh, is also great for preventing a Houndstone endgame. Speaking of Houndstone, we needed a dedicated check and nothing does that better than Calm Colin. Two for two giraffes to start off the team this week and uh, you know, Colin can conquer a fair few of Matt's menacing mons. Uh, Low Kick and Earthquake once again fill the coverage to hit Slowking and Tyranitar while Shadow Ball does the most damage to Houndstone. Protect also allows us to both stall out a turn of sand and guarantee that we'll be able to get our Kudchu proc for a second Citrus Snack. Both of our first two mons aren't definite ways of breaking his defensive core, so our next two mons help with that. Iron Crown makes the most of Matt's lack of special still resists and spams Tachyon Cutter for free, and is essentially the only mon only move that we will need this week. Psyshock hits any AV users for more damage, and Focus Blast is really only there for the Empoleon and the Tyranitar, whilst Volt Switch allows me to pivot in if uh, I decide I don't want to just go Tachyon, but you know, Tachyon goes Brewer this week, so I can't see me clicking it. Our next breaker is Great Tusk, and we're running a set that should be able to break any Skarmory while still having the coverage for Wimscott. Earthquake is incredibly free here, barring those two mons, so Temper Flare is the move of choice, since after a booster, we can actually beat Skarmory 1v1 if we EQ into it first and then Temper Flare afterwards. Rapid Spin clears any leads, Cloister or Skarmory Hazards and Stealth Rock is really just a fourth move that could end up getting value with some calcs that do rely on rocks. To be honest, if I have a free turn, I probably will just click EQ. My team is both able to take it and break Matt's team, but we need a Wink Con and Terra Poison Zarude gives us just that. Matt's team is very slow outside of me and Shao and Whimsicott and neither can really touch a Poison type, so SD comes again and gives us an end game to work to. Knockoff plus Terra Blast hits almost everything, so Drain Punch comes as a way to hit Tyranitar and recover health. And uh, yeah, this Mon literally just Oko's everything on his team at plus two. The last Mon on our team this week is Choice Scarf Salazzle, because I found I was a little bit weak to Shell Smash Cloister and a potential endgame Houndstone, especially like because my team really struggles with Ghost type moves if I misplay it for a Giraffe or Terra my uh, Zarude. So uh, yeah, Choice Scarf Salazzle is able to outspeed both. Overheat hits both for huge damage, while Flamethrower is a reliable fire move to spam. Uh, Sludge Wave honestly is just a filler move, could have been toxic, probably should have been toxic, but it will do the most damage to Tyranitar. And Sunny Day is a last resort click to prevent Houndstone sweeping and give our Protosynthesis Mons their boosts. And that'll be our team for this week. Matt has a real reliance on Houndstone to win this game I feel. So as long as I don't let that get in position to win, then I feel pretty confident with this build. Please make sure to check out Matt, he's one of my favourite people and does some of the funniest commentaries in the community and he's been one of my friends for a very very long time. And as always, if you're enjoying the content then please do think about leaving a like and subscribing, the support does go a long way to reaching our 1500 sub goal for the end of the year. And with that out of the way, let's get to the battle. Okay, so here we are for the battle against Matt. I've been looking forward to this one from week one. He brings roughly what I was expecting. There is the Electivire, there's of course the Houndstone. Um, a lot of this game may come down to whether or not I lose to Houndstone. So uh, yeah, that's a little bit scary. Uh, brings the Mean Shell, so I think I have to lead off with Raging Roger. Because it realistically is good against everything in his, on his team, except for like fully physically defensive uh, Galarian Slowking. 
I think it should be fine. Uh, we'll take any one hit from the me and Xiao on Oko in return for Draco. He didn't bring a fairy type. So there is that. It's going to be... Well, actually, it could be Terra Cloister. It could be Terra on the Electivire. I'd honestly rather see it on the Cloister because I think I can deal with Ghost Terra Cloister better. So, uh, yeah. At least if the Electivire is, like, Assault Vest with... Terra Flying, I can't really touch it with Raging Roger too well. Whilst, uh, if it's still Electric type, I can touch it just fine. That sounds weird. You know what? Matt's probably saying much worse, so. Okay, let's see what Matt wants to lead off with. My capture card is lagging real bad. Um, but I would say that's probably an okay lead. If this is just a skill link cloister, uh, we will not die in one hit, which you love to see. I, I'll just vault, like, Adamant doesn't knock me out, and yeah, he just sets up spikes. So that was the right decision in the end. He didn't terror this either, so he's obviously wanting to terror his Electivire. Uh, spikes might be a little bit annoying. Also, I did, my capture card is having some real issues here, so sorry about that. Okay, so we're pretty free to go into our Tachyon Mon. Um, we could also spin these away. But I think I'd rather go into you and just click Volt Switch. Are we faster than this Cloister? Uh, by all means, we should be. If it's Jolly, then yeah, we want to be one point faster. So I can literally just go into you and click Volt Switch. Actually, there's no reason to knock Tachyon, is there? I don't think there's a reason to knock Tachyon against this team. Yeah, none at all. Um, if he goes into T-Tar after, I think I still Tachyon just to get my damage. We'll go ahead and do this. And Giraffe 3 on my team. Uh, able to pick up a kill. Uh, uh, Iron Crown is a Giraffe and you can't tell me otherwise. Um, we obviously have Calm Colin and Raging Roger on our team so like the giraffe count is 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 quite high and we have a salazzle salazzle is definitely a giraffe lapras as well lapras is the is a swimming giraffe now we could see the sloking come out here we could see the tyranitar there is a a small chance i think of what the fuck is that <laughs> that's a sloking okay <laughs> um so by all means i could stay in um i think i kind of I don't need to, but I think my best play is to just stay in and tacky on again. Because this shouldn't be able to one-shot me unless it's like specs, and if it's specs, it's not taking two tachyons. God, I really want to reset my capture card, but if I do that, then it's it's going to just no longer connect, and that's going to be an issue. Uh, he sludge bombs. Matt, you realize that steel is uh, immune to poison? It's okay, Matt. We, we, all, we all take some time with, with, type, with type matchups. Okay, so we'll, we'll get a kill here. Because even if he goes out into t -tar, we get a kill here. Uh, I'm honestly just happy to continue clicking Tachyon until this thing dies. Is he just sacking his entire team so he can then potentially win with Houndstone? Because I would actually respect that. Um, also, that is definitely not Assault Vest. I can tell you that much. Wow, who switches? Switching is uncompetitive. Uh, this is going to be the main shell. You are dead unless you're Assault Vest. You are Assault Vest. Well, alrighty then. Uh, this one's still pretty good here. It's still pretty good. Um, I have no reason to not go out into Great Tusk here and just click spin, right? Like, there is literally no reason at all to not do that. Because if he knocks, we're booster. Um, if he U-turns, well... That he doesn't have a good way of dealing with this, Mon. And if he just happens to be special or some shit, I could see Matt doing it, because why the fuck not? Like, how else are you dealing with this, Mon? Um, he could also just be Triple Axel. He knocks. Okay, Mon. Large damage. And I don't think a Triple Axel will kill me from here, because he has shown that he's a Salt Vest. So, I will just spin. If he goes Houndstone, then uh, sure. But I don't want to keep taking some uh, entry hazards every time that this Mon comes in. 
And honestly, a plus one Great Tusk does look pretty damn threatening. Uh, the Sloking is low, this is low. Like, he just still doesn't switch into Iron Crown at all. And we still have our Calm Colin at full health with its Citrusy. Uh, he high jump kicks. That's respectable damage. If he had missed, I think it actually it would be as good for him. <laughs> Weirdly enough. Because um, now he has to try and switch into this Mon. I could set up my rocks here. Does that get me anything? Um, potentially. Because if Electivire comes in, it's Terra flying. And it's going to Terra. Because you sure as hell. I mean, uh, to be fair, he did click the Slush Bomb into my Steel type earlier. So who am I to say whether or not he wants to keep Electric type against my... Uh, against my Great Tusk here, but... He's definitely thinking about it. To be fair, he doesn't, like I said, he doesn't have a good switch into this mod, and now he doesn't have... Well, he has, what, two potential outspeeds on my Iron Crown? Both of which... Well, I got my switch into Barney, that is... That's a T-Tar, we, we love T-Tar around here. Uh, goes for the... I mean, he should switch out, right? Don't know why my Joy-Con decided I want to Terra. That would have been terrible. Pun intended. Um, if he's Choppel, he's Choppel. I just go out into Iron Crown after this and claim my kill. And if he goes out into Houndstone, then we're all so fine. This will do a lot of damage. This will just kill. Um... I don't think he was max HP on that bond then, if I had to guess. I mean, I am I am a great task. Okay, max HP, it was still a roll, so he could have been. Um, in comes the dog. My play here is always to just stay in and click Earthquake, because if he predicts and goes for a crunch on the switch, which he didn't do, um, then that would be pretty bad for me. But this actually is not, it's not good. But it's also not terrible. Like this should still do some, still do some damage. Yes. And now well, you really shouldn't crunch. So do I go out into the giraffe? I still, yeah, I'm, I'm still fine to do this because I have my salazzle in the back as well. I still have the salazzle in the back, so I can outspeed this thing even in the sand. His sand is gone, so I just need to see out the sand. Realistically, uh, he last respects. And now Crunch should never, ever do enough. Um, I actually want an Earthquake, I think. Because his switch ins, you got Electivire and you got Sloking in the back. So yeah, I think Earthquake is the best play. Because we can always protect afterwards and get our Citrusy and we'll be back at like a decent amount of health. Also, I know Dave is watching this and he is cringing every time I say Citrusy. So. Uh, Willow, and he misses. Sorry, that actually kind of did matter, weirdly enough. Um, I could just protect for a turn. See how... I mean, that that would be the smart play, right? Um, I could also just click Shadow Ball here. Yeah, he wisps again. So, Houndstone's going to go down. What's he got left? Electivire, and he's got... Um, Electivire and Sloking. And Sloking is already pretty low. Um, I should be alright against all of those mons. Let's just have a quick look whilst I'm here. Um, this against Electivire. Electivire, if it's like bulk up, I guess is a bit of an issue, but once it terrors, it's nowhere near as good. And I do still have my Choice Scarfer. Uh, even a Supercell Slam from Max Attack does not do enough here. So yeah, Electivire comes in. I think my better play is just to click Shadow Ball. And if he terrors, then I think we're in a better spot. In general. Actually, I don't think it matters at this point. I don't think it matters much. He does just Super Slam. Respectable damage. It's Life Orb. Okay, that'd be why I did so much. 
So we'll get a little bit of damage off on this as well. Big, big damage. <laughs> uh, I think that's max HP, just judging off of this. Um, and I am just going to click uh, Protect to get my Citrus back, because I think I should live another. It's going to be close, but I think I live another one after my Citrus. What was I at, like two? No, I, I, I won't, but I'm clicking it regardless. Because if he Supercell slams as well, then uh, he Volt Switches. Okay. If he Supercell slammed, then he probably just died. I should have protected on the turn before, actually. I should have predicted the Supercell slam. So now we get our Cud Chew back. At some point during this turn, we'll get the Cud Chew. There it is. And I think my best play is just to try and get a double protect, honestly. Because this isn't needed anymore, and now I just get a free switch out into whatever I want. So I'll go for it. It's worth a try, isn't it? And he just full switches. Okay. I think we die to the combination of Sandstorm plus Burn here, which is the best case scenario for us, because then we can literally just go out into our... Oh, it's a rude and click knockoff. Okay, well, Sam subs sand subsides, so that's a little tough. I'm just going to go out into Val, into Val, into Crown. Because I don't want him to get any kind of real shenanigans off. He's actually going to withdraw. I see how it is. Well, alright then. Um, <laughs> I guess we're in this situation instead. Um, Iron Crown to Electivire. I mean, Slice Shock will kill no matter what. Am I faster than it? Probably not. Do we know how bulky it is? We don't. Uh, Earthquake won't knock me out from here, so I'm just going to click Slice Shock. He does EQ. And I think I can go pretty safely into Zarud, unless this just kills a Slow King. Which it won't. It won't kill Slow King. In any world. Uh, no matter what, I'm in a position where I can just come in with Zarud after. I don't need to preserve a 6-0, so I will just click Psyshock. That does so much damage. Trick Room. That is kind of cool. I like that. Um, nothing on my team takes two. I, I, I have no reason to preserve still, so... <laughs> yeah, he just flamethrowers. Iron Crown, you absolutely did your job in this game. And I believe that Roger should always live one, so I will just go into Roger and I will click the Earthquake. And that should just be game. Should be a 5-0. Sludge Bomb shouldn't do enough. That does nothing. In fact, I could have just gone out into Roger and preserved a 6-0, but... You know what? It's a season of 5-0s, so why not preserve the 5-0 instead? That's my third one of the season. Third win 5-0, and I lost 5-0 as well. So out of the five weeks, four of them have been 5-0s. But a good game to Matt. I know he hates his team. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the battle, and subscribe so you don't miss out on the rest of the season. Until the next one, have a great day, guys. Peace.